Hey, family and friends. Listen, this is your sister. This is the Trigger Preacher coming to you this morning because I want to give you some encouraging words today. Dumb down for what? Dumb down for what? Listen, do not let no one in this world take away the very essence of who God called you out to be because that is where your creativity is that is where you make a difference that is where you stand out that is where you can walk all alone by yourself in that particular area is the essence of who God called you to be however you are whether it's assertive whether it's aggressive or whether it's mild whatever it is walk in the fullness of who God called you to be never let nobody try to make you dumb down to be who they think you should be or dumb down to who they thought you should be never let no one put you in a box there is difference in you there is difference in me and see let me give you an example let me give you a real life example i'm called the trigger preacher right I haven't heard that name nowhere else. God gave me that name. Trigger Preacher. It dropped in my spirit last year. And when it dropped in my spirit, I grabbed it. And I grabbed it. You know why? Because it truly identified with who I am. Anybody around me knows that if I get triggered by something somebody say or something that somebody do, I begin to preach Every word and every scripture that comes to my mind, I even begin to dig for more and dig for more because now I'm triggered and I want the point to hit home. So because I'm called the trigger preacher, it went perfectly with who I am. Why? Because I've always been known to be aggressive at times. I've always been known that if I have something to say, I'm going to figure out a way to say it. If I have something that I desire to do, I'm going to figure out a way to do it. So listen, for somebody to come into my life and say, Michelle, dumb it down, dumb it down, turn it all the way down, kind of bring it together. It's kind of like saying to me, I'm a pit bull. And it's kind of like saying to the pit bull, I need you to bark like a poodle. Now, see, pit bulls come in male versions and it comes in female versions. And that female pit bull, if it can talk in a human language, would say to you, it ain't even in my blood. It ain't even in my blood. It ain't even in my DNA. I couldn't do it if I wanted to. I could not bark like a poodle because I'm a pit bull. And so what I'm saying to you is understand who you are. There is an alpha male and there is an alpha female female that means that God created them both and he created them both for a purpose when you understand your purpose when you understand who you are dumb down for what you just allow God through his word to come into who you are and begin to put it together and make what he is destined to make and that is a different you, a unique you, a you that nobody could be. See, listen, when you got like a T.D. Jakes out here, you know, you can know his voice when you hear his voice. When you got a Joel Osteen, you can know his voice when you hear his voice. When you got an Oprah, you can know her voice when you hear her voice. Listen, who are you? What makes your voice distinctive? What makes you different in who you are? Are you trying to be like somebody else? Are you trying to imitate their voice are you trying to imitate their actions or are you digging within who God called you to be and being the best you which is very distinctive which has its own message which has its own tone which has its own everything listen know who you are let nobody dumb you down listen I am the trigger preacher when I'm coming that means the trigger has been pulled. And when the trigger has been pulled, when a bullet comes out of a gun, guess what? It comes out with fire. It comes out to do damage. It has no respect of person. It comes out to hit. It comes out to penetrate. It comes out to get its point across or to get somebody's attention. Listen, when something comes out of my mouth, it is intended to get somebody's attention. And for those who don't want nothing to do with it, just get on out the way, baby, because it is coming. I am your sister. I am the trigger preacher. Be, be. Be, be encouraged. Dumb down for what? Dumb down for what? Be who God has called you to be. Walk in that authority. Walk in who you are. If nobody like it but you, be satisfied with you. Be you. Turn off all the other things that you're hearing. Turn off all the other things that you're seeing. And baby, walk in your purpose. Walk in your calling. And let the people who complain, let them catch up with you from the back. Because you keep on running in this thing. You keep on being exactly who God has called you to be and do not apologize for it. Make no mistake about it. I'm your sister. There's a time to love 
as the Bible says in Ecclesiastes. And there's a time to chastise. There's a time to build. And there's a time to tear down. There is a time to laugh. And there's a time to cry. There's a time to live. And there's a time to die. There's a time and a place for everything. But when I get right here in front of this camera. It's a time to be the trigger preacher. It's a time to bring forth whatever I got to come forth. It's a time to bring it. Like I'm supposed to bring it. I am your sister. The triggers preacher. Guess what? You ain't got to like folks. But you better respect who they are. And the difference that they walk in. And listen. I ain't apologizing. Because guess what? God brought me out of that world. Where guess what? My aggression. It was horrible. My aggression was in a whole nother direction. But he brought me over to this world. And guess what? I can use my aggression in a whole different way. Guess what? For the kingdom of God. For the gospel to be preached all over the world. Evangelistic characteristics. That's all I do. I'm preaching salvation. I'm preaching it. Now it's up to you to, to grab it. Take hold to it. And get what you need to do. And run on with your life. And be the best that you know how to be. Dumb down for what? Share this video and let people know. Be who you are and make no excuse about it and do not apologize in this life. Amen. God bless. This is your sister, the trigger preacher. Know when I come, I'm coming because the trigger has been pulled. God bless.